Hey guys, welcome back to Doing It DIY. If you're new here, my name's Allison. If you have not subscribed yet, I hope that you will so that you can be part of the Doing It DIY family and we can DIY together. Today I have a super easy Dollar Tree and Dollar General DIY that I think you're going to love. It's a knockoff of this super cute little picture frame blanket ladder type thing that I found on Kirkland's. I'm gonna throw it up here in the top part of your screen. Everything you need to complete this is on the screen and in the description box. Let's go ahead and get started. We are going to take four of these Dollar General garden stakes, just the wooden garden stakes, and we are going to arrange them in a little bit of a ladder pattern. We are going to use two five by seven picture frames from the Dollar Tree, and we're going to just put the two long sticks on the sides and then we're going to place our photo frames where you'd want them to hang on the ladder. And then we are going to put the other, so we need four total. We're gonna to put two on the sides and then we're going to put two across in between both of the photo frames. This is what our photo frames are gonna hang from. And then we're just going to mark the place where we want those to be so that we can make our cuts super easy. And I'm using this little miter box from Lowe's. I think it was like $9. I really like it, but I would love to connect it to like a workbench because it really moved around a lot. And you're going to see as I saw this thing <laughs> that I have a lot of problem keeping it still. So it worked great. It actually wasn't nearly as hard as the video makes it look, but that's where I got it from. I got it from Lowe's. It does the little, the miter corners and all that. So that's pretty awesome too. I know that I haven't been here for a few weeks. It's been super busy at my house with state testing with my kids and just life in general. So I wanted to come on and do a quick video. I'll be back on Tuesday with a lot of DIYs. So definitely stay tuned for that. But yeah, I hope you guys have been doing great in the time that I've been gone. What we're gonna do once we have those cuts made is go ahead and I'm just using some Waverly chalk paint in the color ivory. I wanted something to match my decor. My decor is very farmhouse, but it's also very neutral, light colors. And I have a lot of grays in my house and I wanted something that wasn't stark white, but that wasn't so dark. So I went with white. You can use your favorite stain here. You can use your favorite color paint, whatever you wanna do. And then I forgot to go ahead and stay on the ends where I cut them so that I threw that in real quick. What we're gonna do after we have those painted is go ahead and take the entire picture frame apart. We wanna take out the glass in the back of it and we're just looking for the actual little plastic frame. And we're gonna go ahead and give a couple of good coats of that Waverly chalk paint. Now these picture frames did come from the Dollar Tree and they're all plastic, so it's gonna take a couple coats. Then let that dry. Now we're gonna take four of these clear shower hooks from the Dollar Tree and some jute twine and some hot glue and we are just going to hot, put hot glue directly on our shower ring and just twist our jute twine around until the whole thing is covered except for a tiny little bit of space on either end. That's what we're going to use to attach right to our picture frame. So it's gonna make it look like they're hanging from those and in reality they are, but it's going to kind of make it look like they're, they're drilled through and I looked everywhere for wooden picture frames that I could do this with but they were a lot more expensive and I wanted to keep it very dollar friendly. So I went with the plastic ones and just chose to glue them on there. If you can find more affordable wooden picture frames, you can definitely still do the exact same thing. And instead of glue them, drill them and just hook it straight onto the photo frame. That's how the Kirkland's one actually appeared to be done. I couldn't find cheap ones, so this was my alternative and it did work and they're very sturdy. You'll see in a second what I'm talking about, but you're just gonna twist that all the way around. You're gonna do that on four shower hooks. And then what we're gonna do is just go ahead and put our glass and then also the back. Uh, theoretically, you would wanna put your photos in at this point too. I waited till afterwards, it was still super easy. So it's not something you're not going to be able to change the photos, you definitely can. But at this point, you wanna put the photos in. Then you're going to arrange everything just like you did before when you made your marks to cut the wood and you're going to mark exactly where those crossbar sections are going to go. Then we're going to take those little rings and some hot glue and you can use these 6000 as well so it's really not going to go anywhere and we are just going to hook them on the little frame on the front and the little back ledge. You don't want to get it onto the back of the photo because you do want to be able to change the photos out later on. So you wanna keep it right at the edge on the back 
and on the edge in the front, if that makes sense. So it's, it looks like this. This is what you want to do. Once you have those on, those little cross sections are going to slide right through those hooks. And then I always use two flat pieces to make sure everything is square and even and all that good stuff. So that's what you see me doing. And I'm just going to put those through our little hooks and put them right back on to where our little marks that we made are. And I'm just checking to make sure everything is lined up okay, everything's where I want it. And then I'm just going to take some hot glue just to hold it on there so it doesn't move around and put them right on where my marks that I just made were and press that down firmly. I'm using Sherbond or wood glue. You can use whatever you want because we are gonna go back and use a staple gun to put some staples in to make sure it definitely doesn't go anywhere. This is just so that we can get to that point. And this is what it looks like at this point. I love the way this turned out. I've been wanting to do this for a while. So then I'm just using an air staple gun. You can use a regular staple gun. Just make sure the staples are long enough to go through these pieces of stake, wooden stakes because they are actually kind of thick. They're a lot thicker than paint sticks. So just keep that in mind when you're looking for your staples. Or you can use some screws too, but I just used the little staple gun, the air gun, and it was a lot quicker and easier and it worked perfectly. And that's what I'm showing you at this point. We're using a regular staple gun that I got from Lowe's and some of those arrow staples and just some jute twine. And I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a little bit of a little decorative feel. And I'm just going to use some nautical rope and do some little X's at each one of those sections where they join. And I hope you guys like this DIY. Like I said, I'll be back on Tuesday with some more uh, cute and easy DIYs for you guys. I hope you all have been doing great. I hope the weather's been great where you're at. I hope you're healthy and happy and just having amazing, amazing, amazing times with your family. If you have not subscribed, I hope that you will subscribe because I love having new subscribers. I love seeing your guys' comments. So if you wanna leave me a comment, I'd love that. If you like this video, definitely give it a big thumbs up. If you wanna see more of these, definitely subscribe. I will see you guys again on Tuesday with another DIY. Until then, guys, bye-bye.